Warning, this video was made by a man with a very weird and dark sense of humor, who also has a very blunt personality, so if you think you might get offended by watching this video, you will. Don't take this video too seriously, this video is just for entertainment. The point of this video is to take the dumb question seriously, out of curiosity to see if one could argue that suicide is the answer. With that being said, do not kill yourself, this video isn't trying to convince people to commit suicide. Enjoy. What if suicide is the answer? One word and I hit you again. I'm telling mother. What's up curiositors, so I've heard people say suicide is not the answer, but have they actually ever just sat down and really thought about it though? Because I did. Now I know everything I'm about to say is going to sound stupid, crazy, kinda controversial, and even a little bit offensive. Okay, a lot offensive. But I thought about this question for a long time. So I first asked myself this question as a sarcastic joke to myself, but then I was like, wait, what if suicide actually is the answer? And I took this question seriously, which I probably shouldn't have done. I did some research and I learned that the leading causes of suicidal death are mental disorders such as depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, personality disorder, and substance abuse, including alcoholism. After learning about this information, I started thinking about this in a more global, positive way. And what I mean by this is that the people doing the suicide, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, they're the people we don't need. Sir, you're out of order. Because they're holding the human race back. Think about it. If all the people that wanted to kill themselves or that just wanted to die actually did, it would make the world a better place. Before you leave a hateful comment, here's why. Generally speaking, the people that want to kill themselves have no hope and probably think they have no reason to live and think their life won't affect the world or change it in any way. The mind is a powerful place and what you feed it can affect you in a powerful way. So if they think like that, then it'll be true and they never will contribute to society and the negativeness could be a bad influence on the more positive people of the world. Not to mention those people genuinely have mental disorders like depression, alcoholism or drug abuse. 300 million people around the world have depression according to the World Health Organization. Not to mention each year more than 650,000 people are injured because of drunk drivers and that's not even mentioning how many are killed by drunk drivers. I'm pretty sure the world can do without alcoholics. Also, over 6.5 million Americans ages 12 or older do and are addicted to illegal or over-the-counter drugs. As a whole, the human race doesn't need these people alive, affecting the global society in a negative way. And to dig myself into an even deeper hole of offensive controversy, if all the people that have incurable diseases and obesity wanted to kill themselves and did, it would most likely benefit the human race. Because if suicidal people with incurable diseases killed themselves, it would give other patients that truly want to live a better chance of living, because nurses and doctors will be able to treat and help them faster. And if a patient needs a transplant organ, they will move up on the list a lot faster if the people on the waiting list gave up on waiting and ended their life. Also, if suicidal obese people killed themselves, there would be a lot less bad influences where it comes to our health. This whole thing is messed up, trust me I know, but it seems like it's almost the answer to everything. If every person that wanted to do suicide did, there would be a lot more positive, genuine, healthy and happy people in the future. When you think about suicide in a global positive way like this, it's not just avoiding problems like the main reason people do suicide, but it's solving them too. With all these people dead, there would be a lot more food, water, land and supplies for the living. With all of these people dead, it would slow down climate change, greatly decrease poverty and overpopulation, kinda like the more ideal version of the Thanos snap. Except it wouldn't be a tremendous insane negative change with people vanishing from their cars while still driving and pilots wouldn't be disappearing from their planes mid-flight. Instead, it would be a subtle tragedy affecting only the people close to the suicidal people, which they will emotionally recover from in a few years. If suicide wasn't looked down upon and was instead accepted, I think it would change the world for the better. The phrase, suicide is never the answer, is emotionally stated. But, in all honesty, suicide is the best answer to everything. But that's just a theory, a game of life theory, and cut. Now if you're watching this and thinking to yourself, damn, all of this good would come if I killed myself. No, that's not true, that's not what I said, 
All of this would only probably happen if a huge portion of Earth population killed themselves. Not just you, because alone, your death wouldn't affect the world. If anything, a few people would just feel sad for a little while and have to adjust to living without you, and then they would move on. Now don't use that as an excuse to go kill yourself, okay? Because it's a stupid excuse. Sure, maybe your life is pointless, but you shouldn't use that to end your life. You should use that to encourage yourself to make your life meaningful, or at least die trying. Because in the end, at least you tried. And that alone is more than a lot of us do. And as always, stay curious.